Great, I'm joined by our Fords coach, Jed Adcock. Jed, a huge night for some of your plays, including Eric Hipwood with his five goals. Was that amongst the best performance you've seen of him? Oh, it was a nice 15-minute uh, purple patch, that's for sure. So it was, in the scheme of things, it was really nice because we are struggling to kick straight. And then he comes out and kicks five, five straight in a row. Um, so it was really important for us at the time. Um, it was nice, I guess, on the back of last week, you had Charlie sort of did it. And now this week it was... Um, Eric, so it's just nice that you know we've been able to change the players, have been able to big impact on games. But um, from a whole forward group, we've been able to be pretty consistent all year, which has been nice. I mean, that was his hundredth career goal, and he's only twenty-one years old. Is that quite a big achievement? It is very big, yeah. When you when you look at it like that, and then I, I guess also, I guess from when he started to now, you know, we've been building and growing as a team. So I guess we haven't been kicking a lot of goals, um, you know, before that. So it's been nice for him to be able to you know, see the growth for him um, individually and then I guess for the weekend for him to step up as a 21-year-old and really grab a game really and, um, you know, be able to capitalise on those chances was, was massive for us. Another big player for us on the night was Dane Zorko. Can you just sort of talk us through his involvement and the way he inspired the troops in that second half? Well, I think it's he's done it all year really. Um, it was nice for him to probably just get a little bit more of the ball but what he's been able to do for us from a defensive point of view has been massive and I think the stats have seen that he's leading the league in tackles and forces tackles and pressure acts and whatever else but you know him along with um, Lockie Neal, Jared Lyons, Hugh, um, Steph in the ruck especially when we lost Big O um, it was a really important midfield battle um, and that's probably where you know over this whole um, the whole game, we really were able to get on top and get some real dominance and some forward momentum from that. But yeah, Dane, um, just another typical Zorko game, wasn't it really? So, uh, led from the front in many aspects and it was nice for him to be able to bit more of the ball and be able to finish off with three goals as well. You mentioned the midfield battle, that's what the sort of contest where the game was won really for us. How did we go in the contested possession? Yeah, so it was a really big win for us, I think plus 27, I'm going to start having to think here. but. Um, yeah, it was, and you know Melbourne are well known for their um, contested ball ability um, and their AFL one for clearances. So to win both of those stats was really important for us. It was a big focus going in, like it is any game. Um, but I think against a, um, a team like Melbourne, it's even more important because you, you do you've got to match them, um, if not try and beat them at their own game. And then from that, you know we had a lot of momentum and um, um, forward entries. We just didn't capitalise there. We just kicked points. Um, it was just nice for the second half of the game that we were able to capitalise and, and kick straight. You said you had, we had the biggest clearance win of the win. It's quite an incredible turnaround from that Carlton game where that was where we lost the match. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but I think Carlton, we, we probably look back at Carlton and, you know, we'll, they were up and about, they were going. We had a chance early to really maybe put a bit more of a lead in and we, we you know, stuffed some stuff, some, some things up and um, maybe dropped their energy a little bit and they sort of fed off that and and got going, but it's been a pretty good area for us all year. Um, it's just something we've got to continue to make sure we focus on um, every quarter and not get lazy on it. So, because when we when we do and we do it well, we can test the ball and clearances. When we win those two areas, we generally um, get some pretty good momentum going forward. And a huge test this weekend with GWS at their home ground on Sunday afternoon. What are you expecting? Oh uh, yeah, no, another another tough game like they all are. So, obviously, GWS are very hard to beat at that oval. They play it very well. It's a bit skinnier oval. Um, looks like they might have a couple of inclusions as well, but they're a very, very good, um, crisp team that, you know, once again, win the ball inside and um, pretty much keep the ball off you. So it's important that, you know, we match them inside early and try and um, play our game and capitalise on any opportunities we get going forward. They can be, I guess, when you play away, you've got to try and really make the most of them early. So it's, you know, the start's important for us, but once again, quarter by quarter and, um, win the ball first and then get the ball into my 50 and try and lock it in there and yeah, kick some goals. Does that win against the D's on the weekend give us a lot of confidence heading into this game? I think we've been confident all year. I don't think it has changed much from a game to game point of view. Um, we know when we play well, our, our good is good enough. Um, it's been able to sustain that over four quarters and you know it's, it's nice that we've probably been able to do that a bit more this year um, and play more four quarter games and really grind some games out. Um, and once again, down there, it's going to be important. Uh, they'll they'll come out early, so it's important for us to really jump out the blocks and and start well, and then you know get to the second half and then go from there again. But um, very good team down there. So I mean, they're top four at the moment. Um, they're coming off you know a disappointing performance for them, but 
um, they're very, very much a hard team to beat at their home ground and they always have been. Sounds exciting. Well, thanks so much, Jed, for joining us. Thank you. Cheers.